Hey Let's you guys, go. Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. Ooh. And today we are here to discuss season two of Drag Race Belgique or Belgium. Um Belgique. But yeah, Belgique. But when you go to Wild Percent, at least here in the States, it says Drag Race Belgium. I'm like, okay. But I've also noticed with Drag Race Sweden, it says Sweden and not the name that it is. So I guess they're letting us know, hey. Belgique is Belgium, you dumb American. <laughs> uh, but before we get into it, just want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We have the goal to reach 1,000 subscribers, and we can only reach it if you subscribe. So go ahead. We'll wait a second. Go ahead and subscribe for us. We'll wait. Hold on. Okay. Did you do it? Okay, thank you. Um, But what did we think of the premiere of season two? Um, it was cute. Cute. Nice little start. Yeah. I need, I might have to wait for these queens to grow on me because I like the season one queens from the jump. But these queens, I'm like, ah, okay. Okay, yeah. let's, just, let's see. Let's see. Right. let's see what we get with. Let's see yeah. what we get with. So we start off the episode with Drag Queen, our winner from season one. She comes in. She writes down her message on the mirror. And now Do it's time. Huh? So, which is new? Yeah, we've had a few winners come back and do it. I want to say uh, the winner, Carmen Farrell, I believe she came in at the beginning of season two and wrote a message for the girls. Oh. Mm. And, like, it hasn't happened often. It has not happened often. But she came in, wrote a message, and now it's time to meet our queens. Um, because we have quite a bit looks to go through this episode... Just a simple, yes, I like it. No, I don't. A uh, first, Sarah Logan. Oh, that's cute. Yes, I like it as well. Up next, we have Alvida. Love this. Mm. Love this. Interesting. Hater. Up next is Star, who is the drag mother of Setter Jean from Holland Season 1. It's uh -huh. okay. Yeah, that's cute. It does the job. Up next, we have Madam Yoko. Cute. She I looks a like a toddler. I would have chose a different hair. She looks like a toddler. Up next is Gabbana. And, um, yes, Gabbana. Oh, yes. I, I, I really I really like this. I know we're only supposed to be saying yes or no, but I really like this. <laughs> um, up next is Love You. Love You. Love You. Love You. Love You. Uh, no. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> uh, it's a no. Could be better. I like the thigh highs. Oh, love them. You know I love them. <laughs> Up next is Lulu Velvet, and mm. I thought this was cute. Cute. Very Little Red Riding Hood. My favorite of the jump, Chloe Clark. This is amazing. Like, beautiful. Like, head to toe. I love the silhouette, the hair, the mm -hmm. makeup. I would have chose a different shoe. That ankle strap is throwing me off. But I everything love the else. Ankle strap. Everything else is great. I know we were not supposed to say yes or no, but I, I just had to. I had to. This was great. But Chloe Clark really stood out to me for this episode. You know, so. butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Sorry. I don't like this look. <laughs> Up next, we have Morphe. It's a no for me, though. It's a no for me. And that is our nine queens. Allegedly, there was supposed to be a tenth queen. Um, but apparently they found out something about one of the queens and sent her to the house and just didn't recast. Hey. Apparently, it was another season 12 situation. Oh, no. Yeah, so they sent that queen on to the house and they were like, you know what? Forget it. We're just going to do it with nine oh. queens. Hey. Which makes sense on how this episode played out. I have notes, but we'll get to it. 
Rita Baga gives her first room mail of the season. I just love how theirs is vertical. Right. Like theirs is in a, what you call it, landscape. Uh-huh. No, portrait. This, this is, is portrait. portrait. Yeah, this is portrait. Landscape is what everybody else do. Rita's like, yeah. we'll do mine. We'll do mine in portrait. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, Rita comes in with this lovely hair. And I already stated that Chloe Clark was my favorite, but I have them all lined up here. Who was your favorite look? I agree, Chloe Clark. All right. So Rita comes in and announces that this week they will be doing a mini challenge. Just like most seasons, they start off with a photo shoot. (laughs) They have to ride this unicorn rodeo. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, they had me laughing so hard at them on this damn uh, unicorn. unicorn. And I just love as soon as they sped it up, majority of them just fell right off. Whoop! As soon as they sped it up, everyone's like, Whoop! I'm like, damn, not even a little bit of, you know, mm-hmm. as soon as they sped up, they're like, Whoop, on the ground. I'm good. <laughs> uh, but yes, afterwards, we find out that the winner is Alvida. Which I thought it was a good decision. I really enjoyed her photo. Did you agree with her winning the mini challenge? Mm, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, I would have chose differently, but like, this isn't a bad photo. So I'm not like, damn you, Rita Becca. At least not yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least not yet. So, this week they will be doing a talent show. And they finally get to read the message that Drag Queen left them. So let's go ahead and get to this main stage. Um, What did we think of Rita Baga's look this week? Um, It seemed a little juvenile to me. If I'm being honest. What did Law say? From the neck up, glamour queen. From the neck down, horror queen. (laughs) That's how I feel about this. Neck up, she looked good. Whoever's doing her makeup, give them a raise. Mm-hmm. I'm all about giving people raises this year. Hey, give them raises. We need them. Shoot, but yeah, the outfit. I that's, need that's one. A, that's a no for me, dog. So this week we're joined by our new judge, Leo, our returning judge, Musti, and our special guest judge, Tatiana Silva. And the winner of Drag Race France Season 1, Paloma. Yes. So, before we get started, our audience is going to be the contestants from Season 1 of Drag Race Belgium. So, let's introduce them back to the main stage. Just like with the entrance look, a simple yes or no. Up first is Brittany Von Buttox. Yes. Okay. Thought it was cute. Mm-hmm. Up next is Amanda Tears. No. Mm. <laughs> no. Up next is Etta Sorosin. Ooh, Soljosin. Messed all that up, Lord. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I like it. Mm. And they played in your face season one, and I will never forgive them for that. Up next is Mocha Bonet. No. <laughs> No. What did you think? Eh, it was it was interesting. <laughs> Up next is Valenciaga. Yes. <laughs> Up next is oh, Peach. I love this. I love every That's piece cute. of this. Every second of this. Up next is Mademoiselle. Boop. And this was cute. This was cute. Interesting, yeah. (laughs) Up next is Susan from Grindr. Um, Girl, what the fuck you got on? I don't know. Like, I am so confused. She looks like... She looks like a... Like, I can just say no and move on. No, girl, what the fuck you got on? Like, no, (laughs) ma'am. No ham, no turkey, no greens, no collards, no mashed potatoes, no mac and cheese. No mac and cheese. No dressing. I don't know. No. 
No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Up next is Athena. Yes. Yes. Even and, if know, it is polka dots that you don't like. Yes, I don't like polka dots, but it looks good here. Um, also, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We might be seeing her again later this year on a mm. global stage. Mm. I'm gonna say we might see her again on a global stage. Okay. So I'm excited. And then of course mm -hmm. our winner, Drag Queen. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> you know, I went back and watched our reviews for the portion of season one that we covered. You said that mm -hmm. a lot when it came to Drag Queen's look. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, it's interesting. interesting. I, I, it's interesting. I'm like, there's a hater in the room. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, okay, let me get my notes pulled up. And now it's time for the talent show. Up first, we have Sarah Logan, who gave us a little burlesque number. Is that what that was supposed to be? Maybe. That's the only thing I could think it is. Is that what that was supposed to I, be? This was a girl. I don't know what it was, but that wasn't what like, it was. I was so shocked she was announced safe. I was like, what are you, like, what, what did you, you what, what are you mean? supposed to be and then doing? They threw Gabbana down there, but we'll, we'll talk about that because they, they played in her face. Um, mm. But I'm just sitting there and I'm like, you're walking around. You're not even really dancing. Like, give us a little, uh, mm, dun, dun, dun. You're just walking and taking off just a little piece of clothing. Right. Like the only interesting thing was the fact that your little your little shawl just kind of stuck out while you took your gloves off. Yeah, I was just I, I just knew she was in the bottom. Baby when mm. Rita said she was safe, I'm like, Lord, what do you mean she's safe? <laughs> no ma'am. Some ham. No turkey. A little bit turkey. <laughs> up, up next is Alvita. Fire Alvita performance. Said... Oh, what? Uh... She did a fire performance. Oh. Uh. Like, what? Yeah, you know what? And she looked good doing it. She really did. And even with her falling, I really thought she won this week. Mm hmm. Because, like, look, all her outfit did was put a little fire out. Like, it was so... Like, look at these screenshots. Like, this is definitely one of my favorite talent shows. Like, this has made it into the top ten, even with this slip and fall right here. Mm. It didn't take anything away from it. It was just... This was great. This was great. And if this fall really stopped her from getting the win, I'm mad. Mm. I'm mad because she did amazing. Amazing. I didn't even see a fall. What fall? What there fall? was a fall? Oh, I didn't see that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That was part of the thing. Up next is Star, um, who also oh, gave us a burlesque way. number, but this was more comedy-based. Right. It was okay. It was all right. It was safe. It was safe. Yeah. Up next is Madam Yoko, who sang live. The voice sounded nice. No. But the tattoos that she had on her, especially the one on her back, already like it halfway built off. Up. Like, I'm really shocked Madam Yoko wasn't in the bottom either. Like, the, the, the bottoms this week confused me. Right. Like, I, I think if that had been RuPaul doing that, she'd have ended up in the bottom. Like, it was just, my goodness, I didn't like it. No, well, let me say, I did like it. It was just, there was a lot of issues. Uh-huh. Up next is Gabbana, who did live singing. Mm. And, yeah, she missed that note in the middle. Like, yeah, that was rough. And then it ended rough. Mm. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> but it, it started off so good. And although it had its mess ups, I don't think it was bottom two 
worthy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Maybe a low placement. Maybe. But to be lip syncing for your life and also thinking you might be going home there for a second, mm-hmm. I was like, nah, dog. This, 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 no. What did you think of Gabbana? Um, I really wasn't a big fan. And you can call me a hater if you want to. I'm not going to call you a hater for this one. But, I mean, she looked great. Mm. She did. She did. All right. Moving on to La View. And she did a comedy performance. So a little stand up. Like, this was so funny. Mm. Like, the. And I love how she was talking about <laughs> the season one queens who were right there. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that was just something last minute. She's like, oh, they're here. Let me throw a dig at them, too. Right. Because most of it was at Rita Baga. And you know me, I love when people bag on Rita Baga. <laughs> Uh, but overall, I thought she did a good job. What did you think of LaVue? Um, I think she did a pretty decent job. She, she did. She did. All right. I guess I took an extra screenshot there. That was weird. Okay, up next is Lulu Velvet. Velvet. Who did another burlesque. Yeah. Un cabaret. Un and again, cabaret. really, she just... Walked up to Walked her around. boa, picked it up, and the glitter fell. Now, did it look cool? Yeah. 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 But it was just like, oh, okay. Mm hmm. So, up next is Chloe Clark. And yeah. That was a little rough. And like the song, like, baby. This song is talking about, oh, I'm the best dancer. I'm going to teach you how to dance. Let me show you real quick. And I'm like, girl, you ain't showing me nothing. Okay. <laughs> you None bitch. of the moves. I was like, so when are the dance moves going to kick in? I'm like, honey, this is very much given really? the white woman who teach the hip hop classes. <laughs> hit, 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 like, hit, mm. hit, and hit, and hit, and hit. Like, this is how you know it's real funky because you gotta drag your shoulders with it. <laughs> it's just it's a mess. That's what it gave. And uh, then, uh, next we have Morphe who played the piano. Uh, what were the IVs for? I was confused by the IVs. I was confused by the fake tears. But overall... Is that what that was supposed to be? Is that what the IVs were for? Those were supposed to be fake tears. I don't know. But at the end of the day, she was playing an instrument. Right. And I thought she was doing a really good job. She did. I just felt like the judges... uh, Again, the bottom this week, I was just very confused by. Mm Mm-hmm. I was very confused about because I'm like, why is she here? Like, was she the best? No. No. I'm not going to sit and act like she was, but she was playing the piano. Mm. And she, try, she tried to make it interesting with the IVs and with the fake tears. It just didn't. I thought she did. Wait. So, the category this week is National Downpour. National Downpour. At first, I was confused until I started seeing the runways, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So, Lucretia, I gave you a singing in the rain reference. Congratulations, Roxy St. James made it on Drag Race Belgium season two. Somehow, some way, without speaking French. Your Duolingo worked, and you learned French. Um, hey, 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 hey. So I still you, don't, I've been doing Duolingo for a year and a half. Still don't understand Spanish. So what did you what would you have brought in for national downpour? I'd have just did a singing in the rain reference. Mm-hmm. I'd have, it'd have been look ooh, you know what I would have did? What? It would have been the Morton's the Morton salt chick. That was my first thought, but I'm like, uh, I imagine, because it's been done on the show before, not this one, but you know, in the franchise. Uh, and I'm like, I, I would want to step out of that box. Right. So I will want to give, you know, back in the 90s and early 2000s, 
when the mm-hmm. R&B divas, and some of the men too, mm-hmm. would give us that power ballad. Like, for example, oh, Aaliyah's, the one I gave my heart to. Mm-hmm. I would have gave you that. Like, I would have came out just drenched, coming out just... <laughs> Like really gave you that '90s, early 2000 R&B singing in the rain feeling. I probably would have gave you the Aaliyah reference, knowing me, but <laughs> like, like no, don't nobody sing in the rain no more. That's how I know the love ain't real, or you're not really hurt in the mm. video. You're not singing in the rain, so how am I supposed to understand how you feel? Well, apparently, you know, now it's all about Shivari and and stuff like that which i'm very interested in somebody want to tie me up call me shoot start singing in the rain that's why nobody wants to love you sing it go into the rain outside that person's house i think the last person to sing in the rain was usher god just on your knees while the rain is coming down like let me start making music professionally because i'm gonna start singing in the rain again Okay, he said the last person to sing in the rain was Usher when he let it burn. Because <laughs> he don't even sing in the rain no more. Now he just be moving, just moving on, just moving. He climbing hills and mountains and stuff. Just leave me, just leave me be. Listen, I used to be obsessed with movie concert. mountains. I used to sing that at a concert. Sir. Like, I'm so glad uh, Spotify Wrapped wasn't a thing when I was blaring moving mountains because that would have been number one that year. Woo! Woo, baby! Going Woo! through it. And I was single that whole year. I was single that whole year. Just, just leave me. Just leave just me. Leave me. Baby, and it didn't help. I was living with my auntie at the time, and she's a huge fan of Usher. So, like, when that album came out, of course we got the album. That's that's what we do. And, baby. Usher be Usher? So, we were in there moving down to all the time. Raymond v. Raymond. It was just such a good time. Such a good time. But let's get into these looks. Um, Great music comes out. That's why his butt been married three times. But just like a quick run through, you know, more than just a little bit, more than just a yes and no, but not like the full Gigiani of it. Up first, we have Sarah Logan. And I thought this was really cute. I enjoy the silhouette. And this is Uh when I caught the reference. I'm like, okay, National Rain Pour. I mean, National Downpour, whatever it was. I'm like, okay. I still don't get it, but okay. Basically, you're in the rain. <laughs> exactly. I think it was just a fun way for them to say it. Right. Um, but yeah, I like this look. What did you think of Sarah? Um, I like the silhouette from the front. I'm not so much in the back. <laughs> Up next is Alvida. I wish Zing. Was, I wish this was a different wig. Everything else is good. Yeah, the hair kind of messes me up. Up next is Star. And this was cute. I, I love the dramatics of it all. Mm-hmm. What did you think? Um, uh, it was okay. Jack is not doing what I needed to do. Up next is Madam Yoko. Ah... Overall, I liked it, both the original and the reveal. I do like the reveal better. Mm-hmm. But it, it, yeah. was, it, was, it was okay. It's okay. Yeah. What did you think? It fit the theme. It fit the theme. So let's move on to Gabbana. I was really shocked the judges didn't care for this. Me too, because I really liked it. I thought it was fun. You're like was you're cute. showing too much skin too fast. I'm like, baby, this is week one. Y'all haven't seen anything that I brought. Exactly. And I was in a full gown singing for y'all during the talent show. So what do you mean I'm showing too much too fast? I can understand mm. this is week three or four, and I've been showing my body yadi yadi the whole time. 
Okay, cool. Right. I get that. But yeah, it's just like they were really pushing hard to get her in the bottom. And I think it's because, like, watching it, she was coming off pretty confident throughout this whole episode. So to me, right. it just seems like, oh, this is like a little attitude check, like, humble yourself. Right. And I don't like that. Y'all gonna have to humble these hands. No. Up next is LaVou. 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 And uh, this is a Leno. La hell no. La hell no. Oh, hell no. For so many reasons. Up Did you practice Lulu before you went down the runway? This, Lulu Velvet was okay. Yeah. Just okay. It was all right. It was all right. Up next is Chloe Clark. And this was not the assignment. <laughs> Even when she tried to explain it. No. This no. is not the assignment. Ma'am. And I love how even the judges were like, Baby, this ain't like during her runway when she was walking, they're like, This ain't the. And Rita was like, Can you put the subtitles on, please? <laughs> I, will, I will say, Rita seems a lot more comfortable this season as host. Because uh-huh. season one, she just kind of. Was yeah, there. Guess, yeah, I guess she was just trying to get into the groove. I feel like she's gotten it. She's still a little bit that way, but like, she's a lot more comfortable this season. I like it. And I remember mm-hmm. my biggest issue was she was really uh, charismatic in the workroom, but not on the main stage. And I was starting to see it on the main stage this week. So, yeah, I think she's just starting to get comfortable in her new position. Right. Moving on to Morphe. And this is a more no. Duh. I like the veil. That's about it. Okay. So, out of all these looks here... Who had do, your favorite do, look? Do, do, do. I have to pick a favorite look? We always have to pick a favorite. You stop it. You love to get on these international franchises and be like, do I have to pick a favorite? I almost called her Yoko Ono. Uh-huh. You mean Madam Yoko? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My favorite is Sarah Logan. I think this was really cute. So we find out in the top. We I like I like Kelly Clark's, but it just wasn't the assignment. <laughs> Kelly Clark's. <laughs> 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 uh, in the top, we had Elvita. And we had the view. In the bottom, we had Gabbana, Chloe Clark. And Morphe, do you oh, agree Chloe with Clark. the top and bottom placements? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my notes up and I'll tell you how this thing should have went down. Hold on. Let me tell you how it should have went down. Okay, so I agree with LeVu and um, uh, what's that other baby's name? Alvita being in the top. Um, yeah, I do agree with them being in the top. Um, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, could we put a third one up there? Maybe no. Lulu, out of all the walking burlesque ones, I, I guess she did the best. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I find it odd that it's just five. Left. So I guess we can give her a high placement. We'll be nice. In the uh-huh. bottom, I would have Madame Yoko, Sarah Logan, and Chloe Clark with Sarah Logan and Chloe Clark lip syncing. I would. I would. But then again, I'm not Rita Baga. Right. This is not Rita Baga. This so, is not Drag Grace Belgique with Desmond. So we find out that LaVue won this week's challenge and won a cash tip of 1,000 euros. Do you agree with her winning? One mil euro. Sure. I still would have gave it to Not Alvita. Really. I just think, although she did fall, I just feel like her performance was more impressive. Yeah. So I would have gave it to Alvita, but LaVue did a good job too. And our bottom two was Gabbana and Chloe Clark, which I agree with Chloe being there. You know, I've already explained how I would have done it. Right. And one of the gags this episode was their lip syncing to Rain On Me by right? Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. 
And Rita did Ooh. mention earlier in the episode how they got a bigger budget this season. Apparently. Okay. Rain on me? Of all songs. Come through. Because, you know, we just saw it on All Stars 8, and I will say they did it better on All Stars 8. But <laughs> when I heard the song, I'm like, okay, come on, money. Mm -hmm. Or was this a situation where they already had the rights to the song World of Wonder did? And they were like, right. maybe we have a certain time period. We have to use it here. <laughs> right. We'll give it to y'all. I mean, it, it made sense. It went with the theme. so. And that was my thing. I'm like, whoever paired the category with this lip sync, give them a raise. Because that's <laughs> I love it. Because as soon as they, it started playing, I'm like, rain up the national day. Oh, my gosh. I love it yeah. here. I love it here. Swelling down on it. I love when two and two equals four. Like, that just really makes me happy. Mm. So, we had this lip sync, and it was a lip sync. Mm -hmm. With this being a non-elimination episode, I would have mm -hmm. did the twist of, you know, gave everybody critiques, make them think they're in the bottom, and then at the end it'd be, Alvita. Uh, love you. Y'all are going to lip sync for the win. Yeah. I feel like it would have been a better lip sync. <laughs> yeah. But hey, they did their best. And Chloe Clark was told to Shantae because she stayed. Now, they mm -hmm. originally told Gabbana to sashay away. She started to walk away. And Rita was like, Candy, wait. Candy, wait. <laughs> Nobody goes home. It's the first episode. Woo! This is the second season, so second chance after all. <laughs> no, it was, you had to send one of them queens to the house, so now y'all gotta feel, <laughs> and y'all didn't replace her, so now y'all gotta make up an episode, so yeah, you can stay, honey. You can mm -hmm. stay. You can stay. So they were uh, they were dancing to Born Naked. We're all born naked and the rest is drag. I was like, come on, Born Naked. I love, you know, I love it. We don't get to use Born Naked as often. And Born Naked is probably one of my favorite RuPaul's line, songs. And, like, my favorite mm -hmm. part of that song is, I'll tell you again, it's never been the clothes that made the man. Baby! RuPaul, you better tell something. You, RuPaul be preaching. If you listen mm -hmm. to her music, she be preaching. But next week on Drag Race Bill Jeek, they will be sewing. You know, I love Ooh. the design challenge. So we're going to see what these yeah. queens can bring. We're going to have two yeah. design challenges, a snatch game, and a talent show next week. Ooh. Because the first episode of UK versus the World is a talent show. You know, that starts next week. Yay. Woo, woo. I'm oh. actually excited for UK yeah. versus the World. Because, you know, my girl Keta Minaj, Team Keta, uh... <laughs> Team Keta all day. Team Keta all day. Yeah. Shoot. And I've said this before, but don't let her be at DragCon in July because you're going to be mad at me because as soon as I bust through that door, where is she? Where is she? Which way? Hold on. What's her number? <laughs> this number. Okay, let me look up. Okay, I'm on my way. And if she ain't even, and if she's not there, I'm going to stand there on my way. I'm going to wait. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'll wait right here. I'm, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll wait right here until she gets here. Mm -hmm. So I will get. That's what I did for Mini Cooper. <laughs> oh, I did that for. Well, I happened to get her Annie. like at the worst time. <laughs> yeah, but it was like the first few times I went to her, she wasn't there. I'm like, okay, I'll just come back. I just, I caught her that day. You caught her the next day. After uh -huh. that, that interesting, bring back my gals, where you can see me in the audience. Even though, wearing this shirt, actually. Um, <laughs> even though I was I was in the audience, but I was not sitting down. I was, standing next, I was standing next to one of the producers talking to her while the whole thing was going. Because it was bright and early in the morning. I'm like, I don't want to sit down just yet. I'm still, you know, getting myself together. Uh -huh. And it showed me clearly sitting down. I'm like, oh. That's okay, though. <laughs> right? At least they had the right day because I had on this orange shirt the second day. So I'm like, well, at least they got the, the shirt, right? It was just right? from a different episode. Bring Back My Girls. Because you were, you were at Bring Back My Girls all day that day. Yeah, 
I was at all of them except for the American ones because they were really packed. And I'm like, I'll just watch those online because with all y'all over here, that get means the lines are going to be short over here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yes, honey, let's go ahead and wrap this up here. Kreisha, where can they find you on social media? You can find me at Kreisha McGill. That's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L on all social media. And you can find me in the club, pocket full of blood, my mom. But if I'm not there, you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all next week. Bye.